Hello my fellow weirdos and welcome to another puzzle review. I'm Flower the Weirdo. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to come check out my channel. Um, actually, Flower the Puzzler, I'm going to call myself Flower the Weirdo just because it's ingrained in my brain to not call myself Flower the Weirdo would just be weird. But uh, this is my puzzling channel, so technically I'm a Flower the Puzzler. But my real name is Flower the Weirdo. Anyway, welcome to my channel. So yeah, in the last episode, geez, oh Pete, I play The Sims way too much. <laughs> I make so many Sims 4 videos that I just automatically say in the last episode. Anyway, in this video, I am going to be reviewing a puzzle. Hold on one second, let me turn off this computer light. I actually look a little bit better. I look purple. Um, yeah, so we are going to be reviewing a Springbok puzzle. It is called Colorful Bloom. It's a circular puzzle. Mm -hmm. If I pull it back, you can actually see the whole thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm such a, a bad YouTuber. There. 500 Springbok has a uh, thing on the side. Um... Okay. Um, oh, never mind. I, like, I thought I turned the TV off and then it started saying welcome to iHeartRadio. I'm like, what the heck? But <laughs> on the remote, <laughs> there's an iHeartRadio button right there. <laughs> it scared me so bad. I'm just like, what is going on? I turned the computer, the, I turned the TV off. So yeah, I have I have two, three monitors, two monitors and a television. I play most of the stuff on the TV. It's like a 30 inch, something like that. It's a pretty big TV. So anyways, um, back to the puzzle after I scared the bejesus out of myself. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it is the Springbok Colorful Bloom. Um, I was excited to do this puzzle because it uh, is a circular puzzle. I've never done a circular. I don't, I don't even think I've done one with... Um, other people because I've only ever built puzzles with other people before I very rarely built them by myself um, I'm actually having a lot of fun building them by myself yeah so it is a round puzzle and it is 500 pieces and the finished puzzle it's making noises oh the box fell <laughs> I'm so freaked out right now I don't know why okay so um Finished puzzle reaches 20 inches in diameter. Um, the average completion time is four to six hours, which is cool because I did it in just around four. And that includes sorting time because I did take probably about an hour to sort. I am very, very bad at sorting. Plus I have a sore arm, like my shoulder is bad. So the sorting takes a while. Oh, actually, I might have taken a little bit less time with the sorting in this one because it was pretty simple of a sort. It's basically um, different colors of the rainbow. So you see you have a, all the pinks here and then the blues over here, a little bit of purple, and then I cannot point for the life of me. Um, then you have the <laughs> oranges and the yellows and the butterflies. So it was pretty simple to sort uh, that way. Uh, I think with the, no, I did. I separated the butterflies. Yeah, it was a really easy puzzle, a nice, um, relaxing puzzle. Like I didn't have any trouble at all trying to get it done. Um, like I said, I got it done in about four hours after sorting, uh, probably three hours, uh, after sorting. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun, fun puzzle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show the time lapse. Um, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm just going to just add it later. Because I could put it over my face. Let me see. Because I did it last time. I have to turn this back on. Um, so let me get this going. I have no idea what I'm doing with my channel, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure this all out while I'm making the channel. Um, if I put this here, right, and then hide, wait, let's put this, 
Uh, where's the large thing? Mini player? No. I want it to be the maxi player. I guess I can't really make it any bigger. Because if I hide my face. Ta-da! There. So we'll do it that way. That way I don't have to look at you. <laughs> it sounded horrible. I mean, I don't have to, I can look at the puzzle and I won't be, like, distracted by you. I was just about to change my shirt between videos and I was going to put on this Be Kind shirt. I hope this records right. If not, it'll just be my voice and I can put it over it. It's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch the video. Now, at the beginning of the videos, I usually... Oh, there must not have been any pieces missing. This one just gets straight into it. I didn't go slow at the beginning at all. Um, this, like I said, I'm still trying to figure things out, but do you notice we are doing from the top down view and it actually, I think it looks a lot better this way, like brighter, but then also I did change my light bulbs because my light bulbs were, one was burnt out and one was so dull that it, I couldn't see anything at all in my room hardly. And, um, yeah, now I can't see anything cause it's so bright. It blinds me. But it's perfect light for puzzling. There's so much light in here. And um, as you can see, I kind of tend to... Um, I don't know if you watch Worlds, but if you've seen Kristen, I don't know her full name. Um, but she usually will puzzle with one hand. And um, with her holding her head in the other hand, I, I tend to do that myself. Um, I either lean on the table or I hold up my chin. Um, but I do usually use one hand. Um, the other hand will most of the time be uh, holding a sorting tray. And while the the reflection in that sorting, sorting tray looks like a heart. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't find all of the edge pieces. Now, that is a problem with the one of the one of the problems with Springbok puzzles. And it's not like a problem, like a bad problem. But it's just that... There are so many pieces that could be edge pieces because all of the pieces, as you can see, are very unique and very different. Um, so yeah, I didn't finish the edge right away, which is fine. I don't need to finish it. Sometimes I feel like I do, but I, I really don't. But, um, but yeah, so I did all of that. What was I going to say? Oh, uh, one of the things I was going to say about the puzzle, which makes it kind of trickier is sometimes you're looking for a certain piece that's like a bigger piece and you don't realize that there's actually two pieces that you're looking for. So you're wasting your time sitting there looking for this giant piece and it's just a little two or three little teeny tiny pieces. Here I am working on the butterflies. Butterflies are kind of my favorite thing to build. I don't know why. So if there is a butterfly, I will probably pull that out and work on it first it's just it's they're easy to do for me because I can I can tell like the the way the wings go and stuff I did have a little bit of trouble on the edges of the wings because especially with this puzzle because there's two blue ones there was a zebra one and then there's like that orange and brown one and then the black and yellow and then regular yellow so it was it was kind of hard to to judge which part went to which butterfly. I had that also in the um, the last puzzle I reviewed. In the last puzzle I reviewed, which was the tropical forest. And um, yeah, I, I kept mixing up the different butterflies. I think I get a little drink there. So yeah, this um, this was a very fun puzzle. It took me, I think, two nights maybe. I'm trying to cap the videos at two hours so it's easier to um, export them. Yeah, you can see I like butterflies and dragonflies because you can see my cup there. It's the dragonfly cup. Um, I have two Terrorist Tumblers and I kind of switch between the two of them. But one of them, my starry one, like doesn't hold the ice anymore it it doesn't hold the cold and I don't know what's up with that anyway yeah so there I am kind of finishing up the butterflies 
And then starting to work on the yellows and the oranges, because I separated by yellows and oranges, which I probably should have separated it further, because it took a little bit longer to do this part. But I loved it because each of the flowers was very unique, so it was easy to tell which flower went where. And there was one ladybug, the one I think that's uh, right above the monarch, maybe? Um, but I could not find it. I'm like, I see this ladybug. I don't know where this ladybug is. I can't find her. So it was like a seek and find almost to try and find that ladybug. And then I was also surprised that there's bees in the picture, which I did not notice until I started building the puzzle. So, yeah. Something keeps clicking over here. Maybe it's my hard drive dying on me. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all. And I think, yeah, I did do the puzzle test and it did, or the the puzzle challenge. Get that out of there. Um, so yeah, I did do the puzzle challenge and it did not pass the test. Uh, but it is a springbok. And while springbok pieces are there, because they're so unique, they don't stick together quite as well. And, um, yeah, it, it sort of fell apart a little bit. I did, I think I did pick it up. I just couldn't get it exactly, you know, fully up. Anyway, sorry. That just didn't sound right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but I really, I really did like this puzzle. I feel like at one time it might have come. Sorry, I have my, um, my TV back on, so it... It um, glares on everything. I feel like it might have come with a puzzle or uh, a poster at one point, but it doesn't seem to now. But this puzzle, I wasn't sure if it would be because it's kind of older, but it is available on the Springback website if you want to go and purchase this puzzle. I would highly recommend it. I really, really liked this puzzle. It was probably one of my favorites to do. Um, I really want to get some more round, uh, rainbow -y puzzles because they're very fun to work on. I really, really enjoyed it. So, I guess that's about it. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it for Colorful, Colorful Bloom by Springbok. Let me hold it up one more time so you can see how beautiful it is. So beautiful. Yeah, 500 pieces went really, really fast, really smooth. I liked it. I can't say that enough, but I loved it. Anyway, I will let you go. If you liked this video, please click the like button. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. I do um, puzzle reviews, puzzle hauls, and time lapse. Um, now, the time lapse videos, I do both time lapse forward and backwards because I think it looks neat backwards. Um... I hope you're enjoying my channel so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.